Hey guys, my name is Joshua Anonymous. I'm here with the Variant News Source. If you haven't already, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm with Robbie Lakeman, the current high score holder in Donkey Kong, Super Pac-Man, among other games, and we'll get into that in just a moment. How are you doing tonight, Robbie? Well, I'm a little tired. It's been a busy day, but I'm here and we're having some fun. Very cool. I'm glad you're taking some time to sit down with me. Um, so I'm going to start with a pretty uh, obvious question. Maybe you get this a lot, but I have to ask, what was the catalyst that kind of led you into going into arcade competitive gaming? Yeah, well, I had a couple friends back home. Uh, we go we go to Fun Spot every once in a while, and I had a couple friends that were trying to break a game over there, a record on a game. So um, I joined over there with them, and I sort of just messed around and played with some games, and I just realized I was pretty good at them. And, Wanted to see what some world records were, and I started chasing after them. Very nice. And um, speaking of world records, I believe it was January 15th, 2020, that the record was officially submitted to Guinness World Records. And, well, that's what they acknowledged it, I believe. And it was submitted to Twin Galaxies for 1,260,700 points. Is that correct? I believe so, yeah. So we actually, I, I broke the record back in June. Uh, it was actually accepted by Guinness uh, a few weeks later. Okay. And then recently I just submitted it to Twin Galaxies. Good. Okay. So right now you are the current record holder. That is amazing, by the way, because as you all know, it is probably one of the most difficult games to master. Um, and we're going to get into that in just a moment. I wanted to ask you, since 2014, I believe you've submitted high score since then to Twin Galaxies, is that correct? Yeah, that's, that's correct. I started submitting scores uh, back in 2011 uh, for other games, and then Donkey Kong, that's when I submitted my first score was in 2014. Alright, so what's kind of wild, you have gone to first place on Donkey Kong, to second place, to first place, to second place, to first place, I, I don't know I don't know how many times I, and it showed I think on Twin Galaxy somewhere around three or four times. What is that feeling like with that back and forth in the competition? Uh, definitely gives you a little bit more of uh, energy as far as having the drive to be able to sit down and play for three and a half hours to get a game going and uh, if no one's coming after you there's really no reason to keep playing so that's sort of what we sort of bounce off each other as far as the competition goes, and we've all gotten better because of it. Fair enough. And as far as, are there any games that like you, you legitimately have tried to take a crack at, but just can't seem to like penetrate to the competitive level? Like you, you want to get there, or you want to like it more because you enjoy the game, but maybe you just can't get it there. Is there any game like that, like a like a pet peeve almost, like that you want to get break that barrier with? Yeah, there's a couple games out there. There's uh, Centipede's one of my favorite games, and I'm actually not very good at it. Uh, I do like to play games I'm not good at. It sort of humbles me a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's more to like yeah. and yeah. understand it more. Right, yeah. yeah, so Centipede's one of those games. I also like Robotron, uh, trying to get a million on that for the first time. So, uh, yeah, long, I'm still ways away from even being competitive, but um, yeah, I, I enjoy those games. While we're on the topic of the records, I believe you have nine officially submitted scores on Twin Galaxies, correct? Uh, yeah, I guess it depends on the game, but... Well, different games, but yeah. different, uh, different submissions, like, that are in the rankings, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, is there any one of those that you're, like, really particularly proud of that doesn't get talked about as much as that Donkey Kong record? Uh, I mean, I, I'm very proud of the Super Pac-Man world record, because uh, that was a 15-hour game. So, so that was my, yeah, that was my first marathon game. I'd never done one, so that was one goal I really wanted to um, accomplish. But uh, then, actually, before that, there's a game called Stratavox. It was actually the first game that had like uh, speaking audio in a game. Okay. So that was a game I actually liked, and there's no video or anything. I just sat there and I just figured it out. Um, so that's actually something I'm pretty proud of too. I just sat down and figured out a game with no guidance at all. Wow, that's pretty insane. Um, now, in terms of submitting scores, this, the one that was acknowledged on June 15th, that was a live stream that took over four hours. 
I gotta ask you, man. How do you mentally prepare knowing you're about to go into a situation where you have to be that concentrated for that long in order to accomplish something like that? There's got to be a preparation. What's that like? I mean, always getting enough rest, eating right. Um, sometimes even some exercise helps. Um, but really, the last thing is, you know, going to the bathroom or getting something. Yeah, there's there's a there, there's a routine. Yeah, there. There's a yeah, there's a routine because sitting there for three and a half hours, you just your mind starts going numb, uh, your body starts hurting. Um, yeah, you reported it saying like you could barely even walk when you walk, when you got up. Uh, one of the publications I read, and I was like, I couldn't imagine that's got to be insane to do. And in in terms of live streaming, how do you feel about that versus the live event? Now, I mean, obviously with the way that 2020 went, with COVID and everything else. Um, the live in, the live stuff hasn't been something we can do. In live streaming is the only avenue we have. What do you feel about it versus the live events? Do you like it more? Do you like it less? How does it compare? Well, there's definitely the uh, the pros and cons of each uh, doing each at home streaming live or going to an in person event. But uh, for me, I just always like going to in person events, uh, whether it be a Kong off or a uh, convention, just because displaying your skills in person is really uh, more legitimate in my eyes. Um, instead of just like sitting home and not really ever getting to know anybody or meeting anybody in person. So, um, yeah, just it's, it's a part of the community too, just getting together and having fun playing the game. So, that always has meant, meant a lot to me. But uh, if I really want to go, go for a score, I mean, playing home is a much, much easier. Um, you're not on anyone else's terms, there's less noise, you can kind of create the environment that you want to play in and get to know your machine a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you're going to play live, you're going to have to adjust to another machine. That, that's why it's always more challenging and I respect it a lot more if you do it pers in person. I can completely understand that and is there, you can't always be breaking records when you're not breaking records, you're just playing game, a casual game. What is like that game for you where it's like you kind of just veg out? And it's it's not at all a competitive feeling for you. What kind of games are that are they for you? Um, I mean, I still play some of the classics. Uh, I mean, I do like Asteroids. I, I like a lot of those other games. Um, sometimes, if I'm just bored or sick of the same games, I try to find a new game and I try to learn that. Um, sometimes, sometimes even like Pac-Man, you never know if you're going to see it at a live event or in a competition or something like that. So yeah, I like to practice those games sometimes here and there. So with, with seven years of doing this for submitting scores for Donkey Kong, do you still find that you have to come up with more improved, different strategies going into the game, still knowing that the scores are just getting higher and higher? Like, do you still have to come up with new strategies? Like, is there a process like in terms of training yourself? How does that work for you? Uh, really, I don't prepare like practice-wise. I don't do safe state practice. I just I just jump on the machine and play. But I watch other people play. Uh, sometimes another player will actually send me like a clip of something that they did and that worked, and um, I'll, I'll kind of throw that into my game, into the playbook. Yeah, test it out. Uh, but I mean, at this point where we're at, it's really not too many. There's really not much more innovation. Um, it's just more of upping the aggression and just hoping it works out in the long run. That's about it. Yeah, well said, definitely. And um, before streaming and uh, to achieve your score, uh, was there anything you were doing, like the previous score, was there, with their most recent high score beating it, was there anything that you were going into mentally, like thinking that this is probably gonna be the, one of the last times, or are you still going to continue upping it if you, this one gets broken further and so forth like is this something you want to keep continuing do you enjoy that competition yeah I mean I do enjoy competing and uh, now we got one more milestone left and that'd be 1.3 million uh, some people are talking about that yeah, that's never been done, never been done. Yeah. Uh, I, w I would like to work towards it and at least do it one time before I'm done um, the previous times I, I've broken the record it was sort of like oh just one more time I'd like I'd like to have it one more time um, but now at this point, I'm almost to that barrier at that 1.3, so I'd almost rather just go for that at this point. Yeah, very cool. Well, you know what, man? Thank you so much for sitting with me. I know now that you're doing, you're doing a lot more streaming now. Where can we find you on Twitch? Uh, it'd be twitch.tv slash Lakeman421. Very cool. 
and is there any uh, upcoming things that you you'll be up submitting that you could talk about? Anything that you could share? Uh, I mean, there's some other stuff around here that that's going on right now, but uh, can't really say too much about it. But we'll see how it turns out. Hey, fair enough. I appreciate you guys watching, guys. Fucking Robbie Lakeman. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. It was great.